product is basically any change of your inlet pressure to your regulator is going to cause an inverse effect on the outlet pressure of that regulator. Now, it makes sense to actually look at an example of this to understand it a little bit better. So here we've got a regulator, and we're going to suppose that it has a supply pressure effect of 1%. It's connected to a cylinder, so we have 3,600 PSI on the inlet side, and we have the regulator set to 50 PSI on the outlet side. As we use the gas in our cylinder, the pressure in the cylinder decreases from 3,600 PSI to 2,600 PSI. Since our regulator has a supply pressure effect of 1%, we're going to see a 1% increase on our outlet side of that change. So we've dropped 1,000 PSI. 1% 1 of that is 10 PSI. So now our outlet pressure is going to rise from 50 PSI up to 60 PSI. And this is all just because of that balancing of forces internal in our regulators. Continuing the example, if we dropped another 1,000 PSI, because we continue to deplete our, our pressure in our cylinders. Now we're down from 3,600 to 1,600. 1% of that decrease is 20 PSI. So our outlet pressure is going to rise from 50 PSI up to 70 PSI. So you can begin to see that supply pressure effect can, can have a negative impact on the performance of your regulators and on the performance of your system especially if that outlet pressure starts to rise beyond a point that it's going to damage some instruments, uh, maybe set off relief valves and waste products, or cause some sort of incident. So the question is, how do we manage supply pressure effect? And there's really two ways to do it. Two-stage pressure reduction or making some modifications to the control mechanism internal in the regulator. Two-stage pressure reduction can be done in a two-stage regulator, shown there on the left or it can be done by two regulators in series, shown there on the right. The second way to do the, to uh, manage supply pressure effect is to modify the control mechanism. And the control mechanism is really the interaction between the poppet and the seat internal in the regulator. On the left, we have an unbalanced poppet design. So our inlet pressure forces are going to act to push that poppet up into the seat. And those inlet pressure forces are going to act on all the surfaces underneath the poppet. The balanced poppet design is shown on the right. You can see it's got an orifice machined through the poppet, allowing the outlet pressure to be resident below the poppet as well as above the poppet. So you still have some small area that the inlet pressure forces can act on pushing the poppet up but they're minimized compared to the unbalanced poppet design. So, so balancing the poppet uh, reduces the area on which our inlet pressure forces can work. It uh, makes the regulator less sensitive to supply pressure effect, but also gives us the advantage that we can use a larger seat on the regulator to allow more flow through the product than we would if we had an unbalanced poppet design.